guys, this is Jamie Little Tulula, and I am here to do a project share. This is the Traveler's Notebook Journal Die that I used. You know, everybody's been talking about it. Everybody's been showing it. I've been wanting to use it, and I got it. So, if you were on my other channel, you know how this is. You know, you know. But since I'm going to put all my journal things over on my reading channel, this is going over here. So, I purchased this die from Funky Junkie Boutique. And I was really happy because it was sold out everywhere. I pre-ordered it, you know, pre-ordered the reorder. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And it came really quickly, so I was happy. You know, they said it was going to be in by a certain time, and it was at my door two days after that. So I was like, yeah. All right, I used this Anna Griffin folder, posting folder. And this is the strip folder that goes with it. So that's the set. I used that. Um, at the time of filming this, this is before I've totally finished. So there are a couple things I might use. So I might use this in the end. And I might use this one in the end. And I might use these two in the end these are embossing and cutting at the same time so those are mites maybe is maybe maybe and these are dies that i did use okay so this is an echo park die and i cut out all these pieces for my journal this cottage cuts this is another cottage cuts window and it cuts out all these pieces, so it's pretty cool. Springtime window. So I cut that. These my road doily dies. They're also like cute, so you could use them for snowflakes. But I used them as mini doilies. I use this AliExpress teapot. I love this thing, it's so pretty. And I used not this one, I used this one. This dies with cows, horses, pigs, and chickens, and ducks, and there's a goat. <laughs> and then I have a safari one too, but that I didn't use that one, obviously. All right, so those are the supplies I used, and then I will be back to show you uh, the journal. Little Poet Spice here, and I am here to do the share of my first journal using the Eileen Hall Travel Dot. Now, I had several questions where I got mine. I got mine from the Funky Junkie Boutique. Okay, um, they shipped quickly and I was very happy because y'all know I hate slow shipping. Um, in addition to that, I used the Blue Barn paper from Hobby Lobby. And I also used this collage pot. Now, to do the covers, I used matte board from the framing section in Hobby Lobby, the big huge sheet. And let me give you a little tip. In Hobby Lobby, if you get that huge sheet and you want it cut down, they charge you a dollar for each cut. So I was not going to do that because the sheet alone was ten dollars. Um, so I had to come home and cut the pieces that I need. That was a pain in the butt. Also, in comparison to the chipboard, mm, I don't know. So I'm going to do a comparison between the chipboard and the mat board for you in another video. All right, so I cut the covers together, glued, you know, glued the paper on, then cut it, okay? Um, I watched a video, and I can't remember whose video it is now because I watched several of them, and they were saying, make sure that you turn one cover upside down and the other one right side up, and that is true if you have a directional paper. So, otherwise your covers will be wrong. They'll both either be upside down or... Okay, I used the elastics from Hobby Lobby, and I don't know. This isn't two millimeters. It's less than that. Okay, so on the inside here, oh, I got a little collage pod on the inside. All right, so on the inside here, I made this long pocket with this long plain tag. On the front, I have four signatures, by the way. On the front, I did this little piece. Um... So it's a folder, then this embossing, you might remember this from the embossy punch punch glam. I did some die cutting, because when do I not? And layered that up on a piece, so it is a belly band. It's a tight belly band. I might trim that off just a tad. And I picked this one because that is, I like the way that goes. Then I had some X, this little tag from somewhere, and I put the little piece there. Um, die cuts here. 
here. There's an envelope. And those of you who've been around my other channel long enough know I do junk journal style. So, <laughs> so this die cut was an AliExpress die. This is a little pocket so you can put some stuff in there. And I used copy paper. And then this cute window die set from um, Cottage Cuts. I love that. Use my embossing papers. And there you go. Now, I did something in this journal I've never, ever done before. Or I should say, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do something. I normally sew my signatures in. And this time, what I did was simply... I'll take this out, but... All I did was simply um, attach the papers. So you can take this sheet out. Normally I sew the signature and then put the signature in. But I thought I would try it this way since the papers hold, you know, the elastics hold them down. There's that cottage cut die cut. There's the back of that envelope with the die cut there. I don't know what I'll use this for. And I had this cute little border strip of these animals that I showed you. And I had to use that. That was so funny. They're so cute. When I bought them, I was just like, oh my gosh. So here's the back of this, that first signature. And here's a tag with the cow print. Is that not cute? I wanted to use the pigs as well, but I, there's not a piece of red in it. It's all blues and whites and blacks and browns. So then I used another little tag piece. Somebody gave this to me. I don't remember who, but they sent this to me. And so I put the other little flower pots there and then put this little die cut tag right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, then we go to signature two. Now I will say this, I put some strong tape on here and I'm not liking how it is working. So I don't know. All right, signature two, you have that, what, French toile, is that what they call that? And then there's a tag of that. A little piece of this left over. Now I want to put something on this because unfortunately anytime you make a pocket out of a one directional print, the pocket part's going to be upside down. I doubled the little doilies, another envelope. That's the other half of that embossed piece. Now look how deep that is. I am so hoping that Crafter's Companion has these 3D embossing folders again. Or a new set, I should say. And then some little tags in there. And look, I didn't even plan that, but it just looks so perfect like she's on the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the little thing again. Another one of those windows. I love that. That was so cute. It's so country right here. Here's another envelope. The open part is over here. And all I did was just oops, sorry, I didn't. I? All I did was just put this over top and then layered some die cuts. This one. And I'll probably put fibers on these as I use them. But since this was my first one, I wasn't sure how thick and how sturdy and how blah, blah, blah. So there's this one. I love all the blue papers in this pad. Can you tell? And then there's the little other half. <laughs> so I took that border strip and cut it in pieces throughout. There's another teapot. And I love this Anna Griffin folder. I think this was the first time I used it. Here's another one of those little pieces down here that somebody gave me. I put the little flower pot on and it serves as a little tuck spot. And I just put, these were the leftover pieces after trimming the paper uh, to eight and a quarter. So I just put them in a little flip book here. And then I had one of those die cuts left and I was like, I might as well use it. <laughs> So that's the end of that signature and on to the fourth. I absolutely love this little paper. Look at the little print. It's so cute. And I like that it's a little flower on a brick wall. Can you see that design? So cute. So cute. All right. Art crap in my fingernails. <laughs> and then I had a couple of these little tags. So I just made this little teeny tiny pocket and put this little tag there. Because I didn't want them sitting around on my desk. I used one for a tuck spot on the side. I took this and just slid it there. There's another one of those cow pieces. Paper. 
the little die. It'll be fun to put a little picture. What I wanted to do was I had one of these um, little pieces here, one of these tall pieces, and it would have been cute behind the window, but I had already glued the window down before I started gluing those things down. So like this scene, it would have been cute to put it behind the window, then it would have looked like that was the outside scene. But I glued it down before I thought about it. There's another one of those little pieces, paper, <laughs> and then I used the doily to create another tuck spot right there, right there, right there. This is what I was up finishing last night. And of course, I couldn't stop adding stuff, which is why it takes me forever to do a finished junk journal, because I'm like, ooh, I can put this die cut here, this die cut there, this die cut there. And then the back has this brown, big long tag, pocket. I might go back and put another little pocket here on the front or add something else there. And then you have the end. So that is my first Traveler's Notebook Fun Journal. And let me know if you'd be interested. This one I think I'll probably keep. But let me know if you'd be interested in purchasing my style of Traveler's Notebook Junk Journal. Because I'll put some in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm reopening my Etsy shop, by the way. Alright, thanks for watching. And I shall see you on another video. Go make or write something. Woohoo!